ask him. Back, uh, I just did a big interview with uh, Worcester. It's going to be, some of it may be in Par Paranoia Magazine, the uh, hard copy itself. If not, the whole thing will be up on the website. And you will be able to read about the meaning of Ra'i returning to the place of essence, to the plane of essence. The thing is, is that consciousness in all levels, not just this plane, but other planes, was altered by that. The love ends started two weeks or a week or so after Ra'i, uh, no, the B ends. The B ends started January 14, 67, right after Ra'i returned to essence. All that hippie culture of 67, 68. And then the reaction to that in 69, which Lenin and, and Yoko had to deal with. And part of the, the principles, Ra'i, the male principle, and Isis, the female principle, uh, return both. I, I saw, at the time, I saw Lenin, the, the Lenins, that just gotten married. Right. Um, them acting out the Ra'i, Isis, male, female dialectic, which was obsolete. That's why unisex and gay sex and multisex came in since then. Uh, the distinction between the sexes melted away with the return of Ra'i and Isis. So I saw them acting out of Ra'i and Isis, which is like a priestcraft level of you know, inspiring awe in people and making a statement about some enemy. Uh, and the enemy was the android meme, the beginning stages of the android meme. What we call the media, it's very interesting, people talk about the media did this, the media did that. They talk about it as something out there and ask them what it is, they might say, well, I guess it's the news. The whole expression by the phrase the media is technically talking about the Android meme, which started in the 60s. So it's interesting how people talk about the media, as if it's this uncontrollable force out there, which is a very accurate perception of what the Android meme is. So the media was after taking after um, John and Yoko, the Rai and Isis, but the media needed that humanistic, human form drama before Ra'i returned to essence, because Ra'i created the human form. So from that point on you had celebrity culture, with emphasis on anthropomorphic human beings doing this and that, through the media, for the benefit of the Android meme, which covered their uh, eccentricity or truth, and you could say that the media was naive, the, the, the individual journalists were naive, but the Android meme itself, it knew it needed to feed on, on human content so that people wouldn't notice it. So that's the dialectic back then, and that dialectic goes up till 1990. Then the Android meme disappears. Then you have the after image of the Android meme. It it replays the return the return of Ra'i to essence. It disappears in 1990. All the walls go down, and then the the 90s is the after image is the after image of the Android meme. The proof that the Android meme was dead and no longer powerful is the after image made everybody buy computers to, to get ready for Y2K, then nothing happened at Y2K. Okay? Showing that the, the purchasing of the, of the computers was an after image effect, had no real ground, and I predicted that the Y2K would lead to nothing, and it didn't. Then after that, what do you got? You got a bunch of human beings looking at each other, um, made up of other technologies as their uh, additional organs. So I call it the TV body and the chip body. When I'm, I'm talking to you on the chip body now, if I met you in person on the beach, uh, Corbin, it would be me looking at you plus your TV landscape, your chip landscape, and your astral body, which is what you're, that's the Crowleyite, the cult world. So we juggle all these bodies, and so we're looking at each other, and what are we going to use as a reference point? Basically, people get pretty frustrated, turn into cavemen, start bombing each other, suicide or collective. So that's where we're at right now. Lurking in the background is the 2012 myth, right? Yeah, explain that. I've heard you talk about it before, but mirror image, um, yeah, I'm, 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 I get a bit of it, it's just been, been a while. Refresh my memory. Well, you know about the Mayan calendar ends in 2012? Right. Um, People have wandered through the ages why, why it does end there. Well, the reason is is that they had built up their pretty accurate science on cycles based on friction societies or energy winding out, winding down so that you had to replenish the energy. With cold fusion, you don't have to replenish the energy. There's more energy on the output than the input. So that's a frictionless society. So the frictionless society starts coming in around 2012. And the Mayans, all their knowledge, and anybody other culture, anybody other, anybody other culture, at that all through the last ten thousand years was based on friction. They could not calibrate the frictionless situation. 
So they stopped their calendar, their chart, their knowledge. They ended at 2012. They didn't know why. Well, maybe they kind of knew that something was totally different that they couldn't calibrate, but they did not know what would cause it. They did not know about a cold fusion battery. So we're moved now. What's interesting, the Evergreen stopped channeling in 2004 after 30 years. The actions moved to another group called the Willows, and the Willows have uh, told us that the energies of 2012 are happening right now. This was last year, 2007. So you're saying the Evergreens uh, stopped channeling in... 2004. Alright, we'll get a couple notes here in 2004, and now it's the Willows? Yes, the Willows I discovered last year, they're up in Toronto like the, the Evergreens came out of. And I don't know if they're as good as the Evergreens, but they're not bad. So I used them, and they pointed out that the energies, that the things that I was feeling and, and Connie was feeling were um, physiological things, and they said, well you're picking up because you're sensitive to the fact that 2012 is happening now in 2007. So the calendar is like five years off. I mean, they're trying to measure something in human time measurements, time calibrations, but it's around now, five years, not four years, not too far away. So it is happening now. And that's part of the setting up of uh, Dobbstown in Costa Rica. You ever have that feeling where you're not sure if you're awake or still dreaming? P8-8-U-I-B-O-A-W-X-C-I-48. B-I-B-O-A-W-X-C-I-48.